Hey guys, here today just kind of going over setting up pro hashing if you're using Hive OS. Uh, Hive, if you reach out to them and you know ask them how you set this up uh, on the Hive uh, in, in directing your miners to pro hashing, basically just going to tell you, um, you know, they, they don't support pro hashing, you know, and, and like they, you can easily set up a uh, nice hash uh, in, into Hive and they have, you know, certain things you type in and, and things like that, which if you guys want a video uh, of setting up nice hash, just let me know. Uh, but it, basically with this, uh, you're going to come in, I'm assuming you know how to make an account on any type of platform, right? It's very simple with everything else. You just make an account for pro hashing, pro hashing .com. If There's a link in the description below. Uh, if you want to just want to click that link, you can help us both out with a little extra perks, you know, percentages basically. But with pro hashing, I have like an L3 directed to it currently. Go in, you tell it what algorithm you want. This you'll find under tools and worker configuration. Uh, up at the top dashboard here, hit screw, go hit the algorithm that you want to do. I, I don't really deal with the manufacturer part. Um, you can, you know, ASIC miner, BWs, you know, so on and so forth, Bitmain. Uh, but I do, I script, uh, come in, click, click on scripts, or you can click on, like you got an eight gigabyte uh, card, you know, ETH hash or ETH hash, a little memory for four gigabyte cards. Uh, you can basically pick, you know, if you got a Bitcoin miner, uh, things like that. But I, I have I have a script miner basically on this right now. So what I do uh, is I'll hit the script. It'll give me how what the configuration is. So just make sure you make note of this or keep this tab open. Um, but you can also then uh, put in here like currently I'm probably right around 680 and some change, and you can figure out how much you're making per day. Uh, it, it, what I would recommend is keeping it pro switching. So it's always mining the most profitable coin. Cause you can clearly tell here that if we're just mining Litecoin directly, it's, you know, $2 and some change, uh, versus, uh, a FPPS, um, uh, payment scheme, full pay per share, uh, on the pro switching. And it's just going to mine the most profitable coin it possibly can on, on whatever you're mining. So it always keep it there. Um, again, make sure you copy these so you know what's going on. Uh, and what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to go to on creating a flight sheet, but I'll go in and edit and you can see how I have mine set up. But basically, you know, you're going to want to go into, you know, create a new one. Uh, you do want to set it up as Litecoin because you are mining a, a script. So you put in a wallet address uh, and then for the pool, you're going to configure that on the miner. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is uh, for Hive specifically, you want to go into ASIC miner and then set up configuration. Uh, and then you, you're basically going to be setting up and copying what they put in uh, as you know the the template so your worker's name amigos pc uh you know, my pot the podcast we run uh and then the url the stratum uh url uh the script uh that you're going to be using or the password which is, this is basic for everybody for you know whatever you're using uh you really don't have to put anything else beyond that you know you apply the changes uh and then you uh, go ahead and hit the rocket ship and send it off to your miner uh, and let your miner do the work. Uh, beyond that, you know, everything else is it's just running. Uh, go back into uh, pro hashing. Uh, your dashboard, you go in, you start, uh, you just, you'll, you'll see your miner in, in doing what it, it needs to do. Uh, and your mega hash and things like that, this is going to change constantly, so I, I wouldn't really... Uh, waste my time uh, you know, really worrying about that, that it's higher, lower, all, all across the board. Uh, and then you go uh, into how you want your payouts. And you can go through all these tabs or whatever, but essentially go to how you want your payouts, and then you start picking out a, a particular payout. 
of how you want. And they actually have, uh, if you click on the add new payout option, uh, they have quite a few different coins that you can utilize or pick or get paid out on. Or if you want to tip the, the crew who created this, there are fees uh, for minimums. Uh, on payouts. So what I would recommend is if you do have a Coinbase wallet, connect your Coinbase wallet to this so the minimums don't apply uh, for applicable coins. There are quite a few. This is good for if you want to mine coins that are really are not unminable uh, or are unminable. Uh, Crypto.com being one of the coins. Uh, I'm an avid user of Crypto.com. Uh, so I want to mine some of the coin just to, to get different perks with different things. But this kind of just helps you gauge uh, different coins like AAVE instead of having to go through all the polygon, polygon stuff and things like that. You can actually get a payout with that uh, that coin. There's also other coins in here that is, again, non-mineable. So uh, there are some mineable coins in here, but, you know, pick what your favorite is or what you want to do uh fair warning though uh with some of the system like you, you have a polygon here uh this is an er uh, erc20 token uh so just you know do your due diligence notes research things like that uh, on what you're picking to get paid out in uh, and then know you know where you need to to update accordingly and um calculate you know what my what my cost is everything like that because you know it's starting to exchange some of these erc20 tokens the gas is a little ridiculous right now so uh it, it can get very costly very quick with what you're doing and, and cut into your roi uh your return on investment on some of the things if you're still trying to return on investment or just your, your profits in general with mining so just do your research uh, the, again, this is a very good tool to use for things that are unminable uh, for the most part, but then also gives you a little bit more freedom in, you know, getting different coins and kind of like doing prospect mining and things like that. It, it, it makes mining a little bit uh, what I consider a little bit more fun, you know, getting different coins and seeing what you can do with those particular coins and trying to, you know, yield somewhere else or somehow else. I mean, if you like this video, and you want me to do more content like this, please subscribe to the channel, like the video itself, uh, and then leave a comment below. And let me know what you did or didn't like about the video, or if you have any questions particular on any type of coins or anything like that, or, or just anything in general.